Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and the new iOS 18.6 is finally here. Even though this looks like a big update, it's actually not that big in terms of new features and changes. So let's go ahead and take a look at this update and see what's new with iOS 18.6. Now, first of all, there's of course a new build number. So the new build number for iOS 18.6 is 22G86. This is the new build number for this update. As I said, it doesn't bring a lot of new features and changes to iOS, but of course it will bring some really important fixes and improvements for your devices. Now this is really important, especially if you have a device that won't support the new iOS 26 in the future, you need to make sure that you update to iOS 18.6 so you get the latest fixes and improvements for your iPhone. Now one thing new is that once you install iOS 18.6 on your device and it boots up for the first time you will see the welcome screen on your iphone so of course it will appear right here on the screen and not just that once you get out of the welcome screen it will take you through a quick setup for your device it's something similar like you do when you actually purchase a new device even though the setup will be way shorter than that like a couple of steps and you're good to go now, one thing that is known that iOS 18.6 will fix for your device is a bug that would prevent sharing of memory movies in the Photos app. So the stock Photos app on your iPhone, you know that we have this memory movie right here, basically this cool feature that will create different movies out of your photos. Then this was a problem with 18.5 where users actually couldn't share those memories. Now it's fixed with this new update. There are also changes for the marketplaces in EU. So in EU, you know that you will be able to install apps out of the app store. Well, Apple has made like a couple of minor changes to this thing on the EU. So basically, just for compliance, they have made a couple of fixes. And if you're on the EU, probably you will get some splash screens when you try to actually install apps from different marketplaces, expl explaining basically what's new and what has changed. There's also an update for AirTags too. Now this actually has been found on the code of iOS 18.6 and we'll have to wait and see what it basically does once it starts pairing with AirTags too. But it's basically an update probably something have to do with find my for air tags too now one thing that we have been expecting actually from ios 18.6 even from 18.5 is enabling the new apple intelligence in china there's no confirmation that that has happened but we're expecting that to happen and we'll have to see reports from china whether this has done that or not but this is one of the main basically main features that we have been expecting on ios 18.6 so that's basically it for this video guys this is everything that is new even though it's not a lot with the new ios 18.6 so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to smash that like button and of course subscribe for more videos and i will see you guys on the next one